Hello and welcome to the first episode of Aquablad vs the World Bosses. Today I'm going to be taking on King Yaknus. And for these three first bosses, I am going to be using what I'd like to consider a starter green deck. Now this isn't the pre-built starter. I've made my own version, but it doesn't pack any epics or legendaries. It's mainly rares and commons. We can take a quick look at the deck here. So we have the uh, Feed the Forests. Uh, we have Willows. Um, Varian Golems for some economy. These are your kind of bulky rare creatures. I've packed in three Voice of Truth and no Sagami Growth Callers. I don't feel the Growth Callers are necessary in these boss fights, whereas Voice of Truth can be very handy. I've got some Wood Elementals, Tiki Caretakers, and uh, some Elderwood Embraces as well, and Sagami Warriors. So some, some nice commons there, and as well some rares. So nothing too expensive, so all your new players can build this list and take on the bosses yourself. So if you haven't seen the bosses before, I'll show you where they, they are. They are in the missions mode. And you have the world bosses button here. And I've already completed these bosses. I did them when they first came out. And we also have King Yaknus to start off with. And then we have the other bosses in future episodes. So Yaknus, the king of Yaks, valley of, in the valley of the Yaks, every 100 years, King Yaknus tests the strengths of the human kingdoms. This is called... Yak the Rock. All right, so that sounds pretty spicy already. And I'm gonna take the boss slayer here as I've called the deck. And in, in this encounter, you're gonna be killing a lot of yaks, that, that's for sure. But we also have Magda to help us out with a couple of special lands already built, one of each color. So Magda is uh, much more useful. So we'll keep Tiki Care, take it to empower the Sagami Warrior, and we'll also get rid of feed the forest we don't need that right now living willow will be handy if we need to defend ourselves in case we get overwhelmed by these cheeky little yaks all right shar is not a bad pickup actually so one one thing to note about yakness he likes to take this spot here this is an aggressive land for him so we're gonna get rid of that straight away and we are gonna dash right on this spot here so we're gonna force yakness to build lands this way and then uh, we'll uh, go from there. Shara's is pretty handy. So we're, we're, the yaks are closing in. And the war yak is built above. Now we have access to Tiki Caretaker. We also get Beiru as well. Not sure if we'll be playing Beiru anytime soon. Maybe you never know. So we want to protect our uh, Magda. So we can develop more legendaries for us. We can also build a land in the wells. So we can start double collecting. We'll take care of this yak right here. Now, Sagami Warrior will trade with the War Yak unless there's a power up and you go trade off right there. And there's an angry yak. He's nowhere near us. King Yaknus is a, a bit of an aggro player. He, like, he likes the smog. That's for sure. Time of Legends. Well, we don't have any legends, but we might as well use it. And we'll shuffle. Well, we can shuffle anything, really. We have access to lands. Um, well, I see blue. Aurora would be pretty handy. We have enough to play a Grove Guardian. We still need to produce forests to get access to our Farian Golems. This is pretty good. It, it will stop these from attacking us, and we can also clear them as well. Because if, unless there's a power-up, we're going to be in a pretty good situation. And there's a Clockwork Yak to respond to us there another magda she she created herself <laughs> just in case she gets cleared we have a spare one which i don't think we'll need to be honest so let's let's take care of this yak i'm gonna play shara so shara blocks the clockwork yak from attacking our grove guardian this this yak is locked in here which is great and shara is gonna have a great time against our friend there. Um, we can we can take let's, take... let's take a forest here for when we want to start being aggressive with our Virgin forces. Stuff like that. Uh-oh. Zero cost yak attack. That's pretty good. So these little yaks can kill Shara. But they're, they're very passive, as you can see. And Mace Man can kill this guy. Now, powering up Shara is usually really good. 
More Beirut. I don't need any more Beirut's game. Stop, stop giving it to me. Magda, you're doing a great job, but the Beirut's are too much. All right, let's feed this Willow first. Gain a lot of Fairy. We'll draw a card. A Verdran Force. It's pretty good. I want to power up Shara. Let's kill this. We'll move Shara up here. We're going to then power up Shara. Take a hit into this. She doesn't take any damage. Could even play just a Verdrin Force by here. Might as well. We'll take some Fairy. We don't need any more lands. We've already got a really healthy board dealing with these uh, yaks. And another yak attack. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, these. These can kill Shara now. Where's Garadan when you need him? One. We can trade here, that's fine. Two. I'm not gonna even bother finishing Shara off. The arrogance. <laughs> Another Beiru! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, Magda? Are you trying to make me play water and destroy all these lands? And I say destroy because... <laughs> I, I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know what's going on with you today, Magda. You've been a bit of a pain. <laughs> now we could reset Shara back, which I think is pretty good. We can just kind of do this into an Elderwood Embrace. And we can clear this. And now these two can clear. But let's let's take one of them. Why not? And again, we'll we'll take fairy. I have I have a lot of Beirus for a green player, right? <laughs> Alright, gonna run into Shara there. So now we can start pushing some, some orb damage. Should be handy. And, uh, sure, okay. Uh, I, I, I kind of I feel that they want me to play Beiru now. Alright, we'll collect from here, then we're going to feed this. Go oh, Guardian, that's handy. To be able to protect Shara and then allow her to go in. And you know what? We may as well build a lake and move Magda into double collection. Why not? Uh, do I play another Magda? Should I? Just, just, just for fun. Zero cost Magda, anyone? I'll just drop an army of Beirus next turn. Prepare myself. Uh oh. Yaknarok. Is upon us. Oh, excellent. Where was where where were you earlier? Oh You remember that time I used the time of legends and put a random blue card to my deck, hoping I'd get Aurora? Turns out I put I put another Beiru in there, why not? Just keep the Beirus coming. So weird. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna move here. I'm gonna clear this guy out. We're gonna lake. We're gonna Beiru. Why not? We're gonna move across and hit for eight. So this runs into the taunt. We'll retreat, step Magda up, step Magda, Magda into collection spot. You know what? We're even we're even gonna power up Magda. Why not? Kill the farm boy. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. I, I've played this boss a couple of times. It's quite fun. I don't even think Ragnarok can save you. A uh, Yaknarok, sorry, not Ragnarok. Yep, that's going to be it. I may have all these flying yaks, but it's not enough. And take the clear. Shimmy over. Shara's gonna punch you for eight. And then Beiru is gonna finish you off. And that's it pretty much. So, to break down this boss encounter, your opponent is gonna summon a lot of yaks. That's for sure. 
Like, so you're gonna, you're gonna encounter a lot of yaks. They're gonna be two fours. So you're gonna wanna be able to clear them in one shot or have creatures durable enough to take care of them. The Grove Guardian is really good in that instance. Uh, Sagami Warrior with a power up is really good. It's cheap, it gets out early. Now, King Yakness will always start with a neutral in, in, in the, the closest neutral to your orb and play a War Yak. If you take that land, he'll have to build one back and that gives you a bit of breathing room. So take that into account as well. He will play two Yak Attacks for free. I only saw two and they will try and clear stuff or they'll just cause a bit of mischief. So keep that in mind. You will get a Magda's Rose as well. So make sure your hand's not too full. That's why it's not great to play a lot of Magda, especially in the early game, because you're gonna wanna get those that Rose and help you steal another character. And then last but not least, you have the Yak and Rock. He summons a bunch of creatures, but hopefully you'll be winning by then and the Yak and Rock won't take much effect. So that wraps up our encounter versus King Yakness. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll move on to the next boss in the next episode. So until next time, guys, take care and enjoy the bosses.